So the Chinese company Moonshot AI just dropped this amazing open source model called Kimi K2 this week, and it is absolutely crushing benchmarks, including in the coding space. Take a look at some of these benchmarks that are posted by Kimi on X, and keep in mind that Kimi is an open source model. A lot of these other metrics here are flagship models like OpenAI and Claude 4 Opus and Gemini. The only other open source models that are comparable on here are DeepSeek and Quinn, but you can see that Kimi is fastly surpassing even those. And this is pretty amazing. And people are already posting really cool stuff. You can see Kimi has some demos here on what you can make with Kimi, and this is just using their chat interface, which you can sign up for at Kimi.com. And specifically with respect to coding, you can see that Kimi is really close to Anthropic's Claude models in terms of coding performance, sometimes even surpassing it, such as on the live code bench metric here. And that's not even the best part. If you look at this, the cost is actually incredibly low. Claude 4 Sonic costs $3 for every million tokens of input and $15 for every million tokens of output. Kimi K2 is 60 cents for a million tokens of input and 250 for the output. That is between five to six times cheaper than Claude 4 Sonnet at a comparable coding metric right here. As I mentioned, you can actually sign up at Kimi.com and chat with it just like you would use ChatGPT or DeepSeek, but you can also get an API key. This will require you to sign up for an account at moonshot.ai. Just go here, click on console, sign up for an account. You'll have to add a credit card, but all you need to get started with an API key is $10 and that will get you really far because the costs are so incredibly low. You'll click create API key and I'm gonna create one here for this demo. Don't worry, by the time I post this, I will delete this key, so don't try to steal it. And I will copy this into my clipboard. Now, why would we use the API key? Because you can actually integrate this with Claude code. This screenshot I'm showing right here shows the, the exact text that you can paste in your .zshrc file. And if you don't know what that is, I'll show you how to find it on your computer in just a second. This will enable you to bypass Anthropics API within Claude code and go to Kimi instead. So you can use Claude code's amazing agentic coding powers, but with the Kimi K2 API, which is super cool. So what we're gonna do is open up Terminal and you're gonna copy and paste this command in here. Open a cursor and then this right here. I'll put this in the show notes. There are other ways to find this, but if you have cursor on your computer, this will open up this .zshrc file in cursor. Now you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste that text that I just showed you in the screenshot and where it says insert API key here, you're going to copy the API key that we just generated on moonshot.ai. And this is just a little overview I created on everything we need to get started with Kimi and Claude code. So we entered this terminal command, we added this to our ZSHRC file, and now to launch Kimi, we simply type Kimi. Now you need to open a new terminal to do that once you have added the text in the previous step to your file. And now it will say, do you trust the files in this folder? Yes. Now look at this, it says overrides the base URL. So now we are using moonshot.ai, we are using Kimi. So what are we going to build with Kimi? I came up with this prompt, which I use ChatTPT to kind of enhance, but I want to make a very simple clone of Evernote, basically a notes management platform similar to Apple Notes or Bear or any other notes platform you use, and it will be a markdown based app. And let's see how Kimi does. Now the reason I'm giving it a somewhat simple prompt here is because Kimi is actually very slow right now. It's receiving a ton of demand, and I don't know if you saw on the previous screen I was showing, there's a message at the top of Moonshot.ai's development console that says the API is experiencing a lot of delays right now. It's basically getting overloaded, so I'm going to enter this prompt, and let's see what it comes back with. I may need to pause and fast forward because the last prompt I saw running with this took about 15 to 20 minutes to generate an app. So just a quick check-in, this thing has been cooking for about 20 minutes now, and we're not quite done, but you can see it's doing a lot of work. As I mentioned, the Kimi API is, is kind of slow right now because of demand, but it's done a lot in 20 minutes, and you, you can see it's it's only used 10 cents of, uh, of my $10 balance, which is just crazy. Uh, it's doing a lot of work. It's consuming quite a few tokens, um, as you can see, because of the API lag. It's not logging those tokens automatically, but I can see in Claude code that it's expending a lot and doing a lot of work. So let's check back in when we get to the final result. Okay, and it just finished. It's gonna run the development server. So let's see what it came back with. 
Okay, so now that this finished, we just tried running the app. Um, got an error, that's totally fine. So we can go back into cursor and you can see that it's trying to install missing dependencies and running the server again to make sure it works. Okay, we ran into a few more errors, but after about five more minutes, it iterated on the errors and it fixed everything. It's only spent about 29 cents, which is incredible. This is this is really cheap, much cheaper than Claude Code um, or Anthropics API. And let me see how it worked. So let's run the development server. All right, and this looks pretty good. Let's see, can we create a new? Uh, no, we got another error. Well, so we. We got the initial front end right, but this didn't quite work out. Okay, it turns out that was a pretty easy error to fix. So it does create notes now. Um, so we can just type note number one, hello world. And this is great. So not, not a whole lot of functionality here, but this looks pretty nice. It looks similar to a very basic version of Evernote and it costs like 30 cents to get building. So you can see why Kimi K2 is a great option if you wanna use Claude Code's agentic harness, but not actually pay for Claude Code. You can use a much cheaper open source model that is performing at a super high level on coding benchmarks. And I think this works pretty great. I may start using this a little bit more, although I do pay for the Claude Code Max plan. So I like to use that that as much as possible. But again, this I like to show you guys a bunch of different options to code with, and I think this is a great tool to put in your toolbox. I think Kimi K2 is a great open source model. The only drawback is speed, but I think that has to do with the demand right now. The same thing happened when DeepSeek came out. It had a huge amount of demand and a lot of spikes in availability. But I think it's definitely worth a try, and I will be testing it out a lot more. Leave a note down in the comments to let me know if you try it and what you're working on. And just a preview, in the coming weeks, I'm working on some additional super awesome workflows for Claude Code, some incredible upgrades that I'm making to Claude Code, and I can't wait to show you guys that. Make sure to subscribe so you see when those drop. I'll see you next time.